only took the girl list to years to get into Harvard University. She is not a genius. She's a hard worker and a fighter against poverty. She grew up in a broken home. Her parents were from the bottom of the social ladder. No jobs, no money. The family survived on welfare. Her drug-addicted mother would often rob Liz and her sister of their food money, and their father chose to ignore it. Street garbage cans became Liz's main source of food. She ate the smelly pasties one by one. But when she saw her mother being taken away from rehab, Liz didn't hold a grudge against her as she watched her mom being tracked away by the police. She grabbed onto the police car and refused to let go because she had been skipping school. If she still didn't go to school, the police would put her in an orphanage. Liz had no choice but to go back to school. She smells bad, her hair is dirty, and she's wearing her sister's leftover ill-fitting clothes. She didn't feed in and was bullied by her classmates. But after coming to school for only two days a semester, Liz got a perfect score on her exams, which shocked her teacher. When she questioned Liz, she found out that she had learned the entire contents of the encyclopedia by simply reading an encyclopedia found by a neighbor. Liz returns home to find her captured mom already sitting on the couch. Mom told Liz the fact that she had AIDS. This time she came to say goodbye. For her safety, mom had to leave and go back to live at her grandpa's house. The police came to the house the next day without a responsible guardian. They had to take Liz away to a orphanage. She begged her father to keep her, but her alcoholic father quickly packed her bags. She came to an orphanage where all the children were in the same situation as she was. Will her living and learning environment change as a result? This girl mixed disinfectant in her shampoo to get back at her bullies. A girl in the shower took the shampoo mix. Then the girl heard screams coming from the bathroom. Liz, who was hiding and cleaning next to her, was too scared to make a sound. Her life has been very difficult since she came to the orphanage. When she first came to the orphanage, hot soup was poured all over her body because she smelled bad. From then on, Liz realized that this was not a place she wanted to be. Finally, she found a way to escape. At the age of 15, Liz was homeless and had to move into her grandfather's house. She finally saw her mom, who she had been separated from for a long time. She's in a much better place mentally now. Although she started drinking, she no longer uses drugs. Liz went back to school, but this time she wasn't ostracized by anyone. She did not learn knowledge in the orphanage, but learned it how not to be bullied and excluded by others. She showered once a day, wore neat clothes, and to be a normal person. She didn't learn much from this school experience, but she gained a lot of good friends. That day, their party was interrupted by her mom. Her best friend helped to evict the others. She is very strange that Liz has such a strange mother. Why Liz does not hate her, but also take care of her. When her friend asked where her mom slept, Liz pointed to her grandfather's bed. That's why she never blamed her mother. My friend said she had a perverted father of her own, and that they both shared the same tragic fate. Grandpa didn't want Liz in the house. They hit it off and decided to run away from home. Life outside was free of stress and worries. Liz was like a real teenager during this time, and this was the day she laughed the most. After a few days, she went to the bar where her mom used to hang out to meet her. Instead of seeing her mom, she got some bad news. Mom died of AIDS. There were less than 10 people at her funeral. She didn't have a headstone. Even the name on the coffin was wrong. After that, everyone around her left one by one. Her friend helped Liz change the name on the casket, and she chose to go to an orphanage. Liz spent the afternoon alone on her mom's coffin. She remembers the days when her mom was with her when she was young, and now she had accompanied her mother on her last journey. Liz, who has nothing, is determined to change her life and her destiny. The only way for her is to study hard and go to a university. The girl was admitted to Harvard University in only two years. She's not a genius. She just keeps trying. The girl's name is Liz. Since her mom died, she knew the only way to change her life was to study. Liz enrolled in a high school that didn't require grades or money, but only if she passed an interview. Because of traffic, Liz was already an hour overdue, and registration was almost over. But in order to seize this hard one opportunity, Liz took a resume and began to fill it out. There were only three questions on the resume. Life, dreams and school. The questions were simple. Liz knew she could have written about all her misadventures and gotten sympathy from others. But she didn't. She wrote about her life without blaming it. She just wanted to change, not get stuck in it. She wrote a whole page about it. The principal, who had her resume, met Liz face to face and let her go to school the next day. She hadn't been in school for so long. Liz had missed a few years of class. She wasn't a genius. Liz knew this, so she studied hard in class and came to the principal for advice after class. She often reads in the library until it closes. To make ends meet, she got a job washing dishes so that her work wouldn't interface with her studies. She posts papers on the wall so she could work and study at the same time. She takes the earliest subway to school every day so she can read on the way. 
Liz was always the first to arrive at school. For two years, she repeated this routine almost every day. She didn't even know she was first in the school if the principal Anne told her. Liz got a free trip to Boston. The principal brought her to Harvard. Liz looked at the comfortable life of the people around her. They were all doing what they liked. She was very envious. But to get into college, she needed grades and money. Without money, nothing was possible. She went back to school and looked up all the scholarship programs. And one caught Liz's eye. The program has a scholarship of $70,000 a year. It lasts for four years. 3,000 people apply, and only six are selected. She spent for months compiling the information and send it in on her birthday. Liz's experience got her the final interview. She spoke in front of a crowd about her drug and alcohol addicted parents, her tragic childhood and the misery of her life. Liz could have used all of this to gain sympathy, but she didn't. She embraced the life she had lived before. The people were moved by her experience and also saw that she was passionate about the future life. They all approved Liz. Finally, she got the scholarship she wanted. And with her hard work, she was able to get into Harvard. Her miserable life was transformed into a hopeful one. The possibilities for her future are endless. In closing, I hope that everyone who has a dream can work towards it. We will make our dreams come true finally.